Praise be Jesus and Mary. Today we honor St. Jerome, priest and doctor of the church. He was born in Dalmatia in about the year 340. He's known as one of the greatest scripture scholars in the church and known for having translated the Bible from the original Hebrew and Greek uh, into Latin. And the, um, the version that he came up with is known as the Latin Vulgate. And it's still one of the most important versions of the Bible to this day. You know, St. Jerome was a, an excellent uh, translator of scripture into Latin because he had a proficiency you know, in the Latin language as well as Greek. He did uh, learn these languages well while studying in Rome. Uh, later in Antioch, he studied Hebrew. And then still later, he moved to Constantinople where he studied uh, scripture under St. Gregory Nazianzen. You know, he eventually found himself back in Rome and he was the secretary of Pope Damasus who commissioned him to be the translator of a new edition of the Bible in Latin, you know, a popular edition as it were. And St. Jerome dedicated uh, pretty much the rest of his life to this work, uh, particularly when he was able to to go to Bethlehem in a cave and spend uh, you know, many years there till the end of his life, you know, to the to this work, as well as providing uh, various commentaries on sacred scripture and promoting monastic life. He died on this day, you know, September 30th, around the year 420. One of the most well-known verses or quotes of Saint Jerome is, "Ignorance of scripture is ignorance of Christ." And uh, this is uh, very true, you know, precisely because the Bible is, is nothing other than a revelation of Christ, you know, the um, revelation of, of God, the revelation of his plan for us in Christ. And so for us, it's important to, uh, to try to become more and more familiar with sacred scripture. You know, so if ignorance of scripture is ignorance of Christ, then knowledge of scripture it you was know, knowledge of Christ. Knowledge of Christ leads to a love of Christ. You know, as Catholics, we need to um, we need to be especially um, you know mindful of the uh, of the need to um, you know, be more and more immersed in Scripture. Oftentimes, we take it for granted. We let the our our copies of the of the Bible uh, you know sit uh, on the bookshelves you know or on the coffee table and collect dust. You know, it's unfortunate that uh, that is the case you know, uh, for too many of us, but uh, we need to um, you know, take up anew the scriptures in hand and keep them close to us and, uh, and to uh, be uh, nourished by them often, perhaps daily. And you know, we do get uh, a good dose of scripture every time we go to mass. You know, the first half of the mass, you know, uh, basically is the, um, you know, the, uh, the focus is on scripture well, so the second half is on, you know, on the, the Eucharist uh, as such, uh, the sacrament, uh, the most blessed sacrament in communion. You know, we should um, you know, try to read, therefore, Scripture also personally, you know, make it part of our prayer lives, our, our devotional lives, uh, spiritual reading, you know, Lectio Divina, you know, a prayerful reading of sacred Scripture. You know, as uh, St. Timothy, uh, St. Paul writes to a, uh, Timothy, in, in the second letter, all scripture is inspired by God and useful for teaching, for reproving, for correcting, for instructing in justice, that the man of God may be perfect, equipped for every good work. You know, let us be inspired you know, by um, the saints. All of them were nourished by scripture and a great love for scripture. And St. Jerome is certainly you know, one of those we can look up to. And uh, we need to, uh, again, arm ourselves, you know, with this, uh, this weapon of scripture, you know, be nourished, enlightened, and strengthened you know, for every good work. You know, so important in this world uh, that is uh, filled with so much error and darkness and confusion. You know, our, our, uh, our love for scripture, staying near it, will, will be a great source of strength and light for us. Praise be Jesus and Mary.